when you're weary and feeling small. I started off as a young man. Um, uh, singing on street corners and uh, with, uh, you know, the hat turned upside down. My sister Myra, she's responsible for me uh, uh, even trying to sing in front of a large audience. Uh, I had done it in church, but when it comes to a club setting, I was very un unearthed. I'm doing um, some extensive work with my sons, Kevin and Roy, a band called Jab, just another band. We've been going back and forth for the last seven years uh, to the Jazz, um, Ascona Jazz Fest, and we've been over in, uh, in Japan, we've been in Germany, Italy, and uh, perhaps we're going to be going to Greece soon. Just like My knowledge about singing, period, came from uh, living in Brooklyn, New York. Going to high school uh, with Anthony Gordine, uh, uh, Tracy Lord, Ernest Wright, uh, and Clarence, and uh, all those guys. We became the Chesters at first, and then the Imperials uh, later on of the Tears on My Pillow fame, uh, Little Anthony and the Imperials. And then we moved right along. Uh, um, I felt the need to move on and I joined a group called the Velours, who uh, I might add went into the Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame, um, the group Harmony Hall of Fame. Um, uh, that was with uh, John Pearson, uh, Romy Ramos, Donald Hayward, and a bunch of other guys that I had the opportunity to sing with. When we used to have program meetings and listen to the Velours records, he would sing along with you. So one of his greatest dreams was to sing along with the Velours. And Joe McCoy, tonight, here on 13 on PBS, you have your wish. Can I come over tonight? <laughs> From there, I moved into uh, another group uh, that is pretty well known throughout the country uh, by the name of the Flamingos. And the Flamingos uh, of the Only Have Eyes For You fame uh, really brought me to the forefront with a song called Buffalo Soldier, uh, in which we had a hit and it was my lead vocal that, uh, that was performing that particular song. So I feel very grateful to the Flamingos for an opportunity that uh, might not have occurred. In this new Working with young people um, is, is, uh, is very rewarding in itself. First of all, you learn new ideas. You hear new ideas. You, you feel new energy. And they're looking at you uh, to give them direction. Sleepless nights, so much pain. At Metropolitan, which is my home church, Pastor Skinner and uh, so many of my friends are there. One night, but in the morning, it will be all right. But oh, what a relief that was when God rescued me. I work there constantly because it is my home based church and. Uh, we have a scholarship fund that is uh, surpasses none other as far as I'm concerned. Come on. To do what you love to do, make it your life's work, 
and be able to support yourself and your family with it. That's success to me. I'm glad to be a part of what I'm doing now with, uh, with uh, J.A.B., Just Another Band, Jab. I want to keep doing it as long as I can and um, just hope God keeps blessing me with good health and uh, a strong voice.